Good evening, everybody. It's Monday, May 13th, about 20 of 8 in the evening. And we've got a few more guns on in the shop than I thought we were going to have today. So there's plenty of time to make another video and let everybody know what's going on. And there's one interesting laptop that I'm going to talk about here in a second, so let's get to it. This little slimline all-in-one, it's ready to be picked up. It's going to be going back to its owner. Its owner bought it for his son for a gaming machine. Not the best gaming machine in the world, but it'll do for now. He's only 12, so he's just really starting to get into the heavier gaming. We will may be doing a custom build for him later on down the road, but that's going to be way later. This laptop is a little bit interesting because it came in here with a complaint of water being spilled into it. And I don't think I've ever talked about water spills and laptops and what the company policy is regarding them. The company policy regarding water spills and laptops is that... In 99.9% .9 of cases, it's not worth it to try to get the laptop running again, which, by the way, this laptop is not running. The reason being is that in order to get these running again, you have to completely gut the machine, pull everything apart, dry it out, and then hope that... It being powered up with water in it didn't cause damage to any components when the short circuit occurred. Now, in addition, this laptop is eight years old. On an eight year old laptop, I would be recommending replacement anyway. So what we're going to do with this is, this is going to be a data extraction. I'm going to pop the hard drive in my data cradle. And we're going to see if we can extract anything from it. I am very hopeful that we can. And I will be picking up a flash drive that the customers are going to bring in here once I know what size drive I need to extract all of her data and we will get the data to her and I'll be setting up a new laptop for her fairly soon I would think I don't know exactly when it's going to be but it's going to be fairly soon then I have one of my land surveyors machines back here for a couple of issues including one which the backup is going very slow and when I say slow normally this backup should have been done in 15 minutes and it's taking hours and my first thought is the external backup drive right here that's sitting behind my keyboard here I'll zoom in I know this is an older unit and I'm my thinking right now is that the hard drive is in the red zone and for those of you that have followed me for a while you know that drives that are in the red zone they're three or more years old and once they hit that point, they can fail at any time. And sometimes when, the, when a hard drive fails, you don't know it other than it gets very, very slow to do anything. So I'm wondering if that's what's going on here. Uh, the owner is currently asleep. I'm waiting for feedback from him, which I will hear tomorrow to confirm its age. And if my thinking is correct... We are going to replace this drive and we're going to see what happens. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone next time. See everyone soon. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.